Hello everyone, my name is Martin Linksfeld and I'm Master Chef in FoggyKitchen.com. First of all, I would like to say thank you to your huge feedback and subscribes to this YouTube channel. I hope it will be constantly inspiring for you in the future. Today I will try to be brief, even the topic is somehow complicated. In this video, with the usage of my GitHub repo, with Terraform code, I will deploy Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Container Engine for Kubernetes, sometimes abbreviated to just OKE. OKE is a fully managed, scalable and high available service that you can use to deploy your containerized application to the cloud. I believe you already know that. So let's go quickly to walk through demo. Okay, I'm currently on my Terraform server and I'm cloning my Terraform OCI OK repository. I can go next into the directory and I can run Terraform plan. Okay, of course I need to build uh, provisioner uh, providers. And now I can run the plan. And uh, Terraform is planning to add 12 resources. What do we have here? VCN, subnet for node pool, subnet 2, right? Subnet for cluster, subnet uh, another one for cluster. OK security list, route table, internet gateway, OK node pool, OK cluster, and yeah, and we'll receive kubeconfig file at, at the very end. So let's give it a try. And we are typing yes. Let's check us what we have here. Yeah. Our cluster is doing the provisioning. Status creating. And there is no active node pools, right? So we need to pause. Looks like the installation has been finished. So deployment of our cluster is uh, successful, right? Cluster status is active. We have four nodes and the latest version and as you can see two worker nodes are in availability domain one and other two worker nodes are in availability domain two okay so now it would be great to have an access to our to our uh, kubernetes first of all we need to install kubectl utility so i'm going here and i'm downloading the utility with this uh, first step next I'm executing change mode just to give executable rights next I'm executing this one to add it to Yep, add it. Okay, and now I'm checking up the version. Perfect, works fine. And now I can return back to my OKE to quick start. Okay, and I am accessing my uh, cube uh, config. Right, um, I need to make this directory. I need to pick up this command. Yep, 
it means I have no OCI CLI installed, so I need to do something more. So I need to install OCI CLI, and this command I should execute on my server. Okay. Yes. And it will install all necessary components uh, in this particular server. Since that moment, I will be able to access my uh, OCI resources with OCI CLI. I will pause for a moment. Okay, let's move further. And now I should configure OCI CLI with my config. And to make this video shorter, I have done it already. So in home OPC uh, uh, dot OCI, I have config file, which is necessary to uh, run proper command from here. So let me do it. And my cube config is ready. Additional thing which I should do is to run this export. And now I expect kubectl get uh, pods all name spaces should work fine. Okay, so as you can see, I have access to cube system namespace and all of the pods of our Kubernetes are there, up and running. That's all for today and I hope you will uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel and you will be waiting for new recordings. Thank you.